everyone, it's Froggy and I'm back again with another episode of Mystic Messenger. So there's a new chat room open called Third Person Perspective with Seven. F, D, S, D, Sag, I don't know. A hacker, there's a hacker here, Seven. Ha, lol. <laughs> I'm Vanderwood. Oh, nope, this is Vanderwood now. I'm right next to you right now. Uh, hey, baby, what's up? Seven, Vanderwood is using your phone. Are you fiddling with Seven's phone? Yes, since it was on. And this is the RFA app. <laughs> oh, but uh, the layout is a bit... Oh, the design's like this because it was hacked. Uh, what's wrong with the design of our app? No, this one. Oh, really? So that's why 707 keeps fighting. Is that the guy who's highly skilled? I'm curious what kind of person it is. I wonder if that person will appear if I just wait here. <laughs> but this package is locked. Can't move to another page. Is it under test? No, not a test, but Vanderwood, the hacker can see the messages you write here. It is a test, lol, let's talk nonsense. Uh... See what you say. <laughs> really? But isn't it okay? Since I don't know anything about the situation, in that case, I can write anything that has nothing to do with the current situation, right? Does the camera work? Say something, anything! 707, you bastard! Get your work done before the deadline! Stop eating chips at home! Or clean up the crumbs yourself. I'll be blamed if you collapse from malnutrition. And stop calling me madam! <sighs> that feels better. Hey. <laughs> oh? The camera works just fine. Good. My face. In truth, I think you're good looking. It's reeking of tiredness. So handsome. I wasn't trying to brag about my looks. Um, you're putting me on the spot. Saying something like that is making me a bit self-conscious, but thanks for the compliment. Uh, there are so many missed calls on his other phone. Hit three digits, wow. But all missed calls. This guy, he's not answering any of the calls from the RFA. Why isn't he answering them? Who's the call from? No, why isn't he answering them? Well, that's obvious. Because he's not participating much. <laughs> he's the king of slacking off. And since the head of the association is next to him, but sick and can't properly keep an eye on him, <laughs> still, it's a relief that he's answering boss's calls. <laughs> so he is a bit afraid of my stun gun. Isn't that something you wanted to say to 707? This is your chance. He probably thinks of his life dearly. Oh. Yes. I do have a lot to say. Listen, 707. Make sure that you read this once you come back. Just what kind of an association is this? Just what kind of a place would have the head of the organization poisoned to death? Though I haven't said much, do you know how surprised I was? You said it's a fundraising group and parties, donations, and whatever. You told me to make some donations as well, but what is this? Now I have no idea where this party is heading either. It seems like a series of distress. I joined because it was a group doing good deeds. That's what I heard as well. But from the moment that mint-haired man came and collapsed from that drug, I started to think that it wasn't. And about 707, this guy, why does he work his ass off? He was always like that. He's sacrificing to protect people. Sacrifice? 707 and sacrifice? Never expected to see that combination in my life. He was the type of person who only thinks of himself than sacrifice. When on a mission, the only thing he trusted was money. Uh, How did you use uh, those emojis? So confusing. Oh, like this. He should work like this for our agency. He's always drunk. With this drink with the same color as his hair when he works at the agency and gets the coating done with his toes while getting on my nerves with that stupid goofy smile. And now he's all serious with the RFA crisis or something? 
And why does he look like he's going to die or something? He's even making me work by selling me his car. He codes with his toes? Maybe he likes the RFA that much? Like? That's a word way off from the 707 I know. But then again, working this hard is not like him. Oh right, but... Though this really has nothing to do with the situation. The head of your association has one strange hair color. I don't think he dyed it. But how in the world did he get that color? Why, you like it? Hereditary, maybe? Hereditary? What a unique family. <laughs> I've asked 707 about this hair before, and he also said he didn't die. Um, but why would that V person not talk to me? I was the one who detoxed him from that weird drug he took. I gave it my best shot, picked my brain from every corner. You're very good at cleaning, I'll compliment you on that. Allow me to thank you in his place. V had many difficult things going on. Oh, thank you. Oh wait, I was thanked before, but hearing it again makes me feel good. <laughs> I hope you can talk to me sometimes. It's really boring here. It's really great that I can talk to you like this, because if we talk face to face, I tend to only say what I need. It's more comfortable talking by chatting. It actually felt like I was being avoided in here, since everyone was a member of the RFA except for me. I thought you were avoiding us. Don't you want to join our association? <laughs> uh, is that a real invitation? Thanks, but I'm not really interested in helping others. Have lots of things to do. Um, it did look fun when 707 was making a fuss about it. But for now, I'm cool. But this is a personal question, and you don't have to answer. I'm curious if you and that V guy are dating or not. Yes, we will soon start a relationship. I think a relationship is somewhat ambiguous. It might not be the time yet, but you never know about the future, right? Oh, not the time yet. So, you might get together later. <laughs> hmm, that might happen in the future, but, uh... I'm not a professional in this field, but from a guy's perspective, there's no doubt that... There's no doubt he thinks good of you. You know, relationships tend to happen when both parties are ready for it. Therefore, I think informants like us are so distant from it. <sighs> God, I want to date him so badly. I love Vanderwood so much, he's so cute. I want to date everybody. Who am I kidding? Even Rika. Let's let's go. Rika route. Bring it on. Uh, what are you saying? So that's how you give a legitimate excuse for being single. Is there something wrong with Seven? <laughs> no. It comes with a job. It's a job thing. Maybe I should really ask Boss for industrial accidents for this. Um, to be honest, when 707 said that he joined a charity group, I thought he had a very least amount of morality, or conscience in him, or that the charity group itself is not real. I just couldn't imagine 707 and a charity group going together, but then... But when he carried the head of that group, completely drugged on his back, I was kind of relieved. There's no way the 707 I know would associate with a normal charity group. How is that job from Seven going? What's wrong with Seven's impression? But this is the exceptional situation. Exceptional! You mean... He really does donate and all? Jeez, I can't imagine that. I'm sure he has saved up a lot of black money. Without people knowing. He'd probably use it on cars. Since informants don't need money. But he still earns enough to have money lying around like chips. Well, danger pay does pay a lot. Oh, my eyes are losing focus from typing. Hey, about these satellite images, I don't think I can take care of this at this speed. It'll take at least a few weeks, and my sight will be gone forever. I think it'll be a good idea to give up for the sake of your eyes. What kind of photos are you comparing? Uh, I can't tell you much because he said not to tell about it, but he just said to look for someone. <sighs> this isn't working. I think I should throw away my lingering desire for the car. 
If I look at another photo, I really think my sight will go haywire. I can't lose my sight for a car. It's not like I'm playing the game of hide-and-seek. I hope we can get back to being agents after wrapping this up. It's really taking the toll lying to boss. Seven is safe, right? What other jobs do you do other than keeping watch on him, Vanderwood? Keeping watch sounds a bit... Anyways, I am also an agent, but I do have one thing that I'm good at, though I cannot reveal it, since the other hacker might be reading over this. I'm here because of my deal with 707, but feels like I'm here on a mission for our agency. Oh, <laughs> Seven's back. Uh, he wouldn't be angry, would he? Run, run, run! <laughs> I'm out of here now. <laughs> You're so cute. Oh my god. Guys, do you love Vanderwood as much as I do? Let me know in the comments. I need to know. Vanderwood, yay or nay? Mila, I'd find myself telling you something I've never shared with the rest of the members. Creation is the way I express myself, however, sometimes that isn't enough. Often, I would present my works to the public. You know, upload the images of your work on SNS, or hold exhibitions. I'd more than love if praise is the only response I can gain, but that cannot be. Criticisms would be inevitable. Have you ever heard of this saying that every criticism aims at shame? Sometimes I would find myself faltering and even on my knees if I run into criticisms. What do you do when that happens to you? 
Since I've exposed my works to the public, I should take the criticisms. I'd shut out all the external feedback and protect myself. Nope, take the criticisms. That's something that people should always do when they're putting out their stuff for the public. You've got to take the good with the bad. That's right, I agree. If there are 100 people as my audience, I would gain 100 different reviews, since each people's point of view would depend on what kind of life each of them has experienced. That's how I'm going to take criticisms. I think that I'm learning new lights of view after enduring the pain. Good criticisms enlighten me on what I need to work on more. They allow me to burn myself with passion again. You know, oh, that's right. That's what I was lacking, or now I can do this, like this. Hmm. Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos from me, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.